thank you for joining us here for this video. Um, these are uh, a big collection of German uh, edge weapons and daggers that we've got coming up in our auction in February. Uh, as you can see, there's two boxes full of German daggers here. So we're going to just uh, empty them out of this box and so you can all have a look what's coming up. So uh, we're just going to take them out and unwrap them now for you. Okay. So here, as you can see, there's a real good mix of uh, German daggers. There are some more. I couldn't get them all out. I couldn't get them all fit them all on the table here. So um, we've got just a good little selection of what's coming up. Um, where should we start? Okay, let's start with uh, a couple of nice first pattern uh, Luftwaffe uh, daggers here. Again, both of them have got nice early uh, nickel silver plated fittings. Uh, let's have a quick look at the makers. Both got the original chains, hanging chains there. Good blue leather covering. Uh, this example is uh, by Carl Eichel Sonningman there. A good traditional maker. Uh, good, nice sort of blade. Uh, so the leather, a little bit of wear on the leather, but generally speaking, still quite good. Um, let's have a look at what maker this one is. Uh, oh, this one by David uh, Mulch. Uh, typical, very, very faint maker mark on the blade. Typical of that maker. Uh, again, but really nice quality fittings on this one. Um, the, the mobile swastikas to the centre are, are really quite good quality. So um, no unit markings underneath. Some of you also see that on unit on the first pattern of Fofa daggers. Sometimes under here you do see some unit markings. Uh, these ones, unfortunately, neither of them have got that. Uh, then moving it right along. Quite a good knife here or knife dagger. This is the. Uh, NSFK, or sometimes referred to as a DLV Flyers Dagger. Again, a good early example. These, like the first pack of Luffs, come in the nickel silver mounts or the uh, aluminium mounts. So again, a nice example with the correct little short pattern hanger. Let's have a look who the maker is for this one. Uh, a good traditional maker, uh, SMF Solingen, one of the more common makers for this dagger. But again, nice example. And what's interesting with this one, hopefully the camera will be able to pick it up, uh, on the top uh, scabbard mount, there's the NSFK acceptance stamps, but also some unit markings on there. Hopefully you can see that on the video. Some nice markings there, which is, it makes a nice feature for this one. Uh, oh, also another one here. Moving along. Again, another, uh, same, exactly the same deal with the NSFK flyers dagger here. Uh, this one, let's have a look. Oh, very tight in there. Oh, this is by... Uh, Gaberda Heller, otherwise known as the uh, Blue Man Maker by some collectors, as you can see by the trademark of the man holding the balloons. Um, quite a good popular maker this for the NSFK. Uh, not that common to find either, so uh, pretty good example. And uh, yeah, again, has the acceptance stamp of the NSFK on the top. It's got a good throat mount. So. Then here we have, we've got the um, Few army daggers here, good nice officers examples uh, with straps and not on this one, this one just with straps. Um, let's have a look again, nice, nice patina to the fittings. Let's have a quick look. Careful that sh not pull to pay, but good nice orange handle. I always like these when they've got all the nice dark patina. I always think they look great. Uh, again, traditional Carl Icon Solingen maker mark on there. Uh, good nice example. Uh, then moving along, we can see here we've got quite a selection of uh, Third Right SA uh, dress daggers here. I think it's an NSKK one here as also. Uh, mixture, some RZM makers and some actual maker marks. Uh, let's have a quick look at this, look at this one. Is. This one looks like a... Oh, this one's a beautiful one. Uh, still with lots of the original black finish into the motto there, the Alice for Deutschland motto of the SA. And quite a rare dagger, this one, the makers. I mean, there's loads and loads of makers for collectors to buy with SA daggers. Um, I keep seeing new makers I've never seen before. I have seen this maker, um, but it is still quite a rare one. And the condition is pretty good going. Uh, you can see normally where the, uh, the ball tops are always damaged, this one is in pretty good condition and with a little short leather hanging strap. Also here again, we've got some more nice SA daggers here. Uh, what we've got on this one, this one is a uh, bit of a polished blade, but again an RZM uh, blade, so a later example. Um, another one here with a hanging strap, 
uh, and again another RZM example there. Uh, these are getting more and more collected now, the RZM ones, because uh, people are associating the makers with the RZM code, so they are becoming much more popular than what they once were. Um, then we move on to two uh, examples of uh, SS enlisted man's dress daggers. Um, I'm going to start with this one here, um, and this one's quite an unusual one. Again, pretty good condition blade, um, but it's nice, it's uh, what's known as a transitional pattern uh, blade, so you've got the RZM logo, and also then the maker's mark for Carl Icon Solingen. Uh, hopefully you can pick that up. A little bit of bubbling on the uh, fittings, but generally speaking, a good example. Um, obviously has the motto, mine hair is true. Uh, the famous motto, and you can still see some of the cross graining in the blade. So, um, small little chip looks like out of one on one edge, but generally speaking, um, quite a good example of an SS enlisted man's dress dagger. Uh, moving along, again, we have some uh, daggers here from the RAD Labour Service and um, the German Red Cross, uh, also a youth and a Kriegsmarine naval dress dagger. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you this one for collectors. This is the RAD Labour Service dress dagger for an, for an officer or leader, as it's known. Um, but what's unusual with this one is it has the orange grip as opposed to the standard white grip. Now, these orange grips, I believe, were only made by one maker, which is Herder. So, again, if we pull it from the scabbard, traditional blade with the motto for the RAD. And then again, yeah, if you look on the back of the blade, it's the maker for Richard Herder Solingen. A little bit worn, but still a very rare example. Unfortunately, they always lose plating on the, on the fittings. It's just a, a problem with the RAD officer's dagger uh, that's encountered for some reason. I don't think there's anything you can do to stop it, as far as I'm aware. You then have two examples of the enlisted man's RAD dress dagger. Uh, this one is probably the nicer of the two, I believe. So quick look at this one. Yeah, again, yeah, quite a nice blade, good motto, clear motto, not damaged. Uh, and again, you've got the uh, Julius Krebs, Carl Julius Krebs maker mark on there with the RAD acceptance stamp. Good, good, honest RAD enlisted man, it's known as a Hewer dagger. Then we have, uh, moving on, we have some of um, the Red Cross daggers. So we're lucky in this cell, we've got a, quite a few of Red Cross daggers, and we've got a Enlisted man's and an officer's version, okay, or leader's version as some people refer them to. So I'll start just with the man's version. So you get classic Red Cross with the original leather frog. Um, open the blade up and you have typical screwdriver uh, tip blade and you have the serrated or saw back edge, which is common with the uh, Red Cross daggers. So again, pretty nice. Uh, you might be able to see it in the video, you can see some of the cross grain is still on the blade. Um, but it's generally a, a good example. And then the leader's dagger, again, very fine example. Uh, and what's nice with this one is it has the original set of brocade hanging straps. So again, a good dagger, this one. Very nice, because a nice dark patina on all the fittings. Um, and again, really, really good condition blade. Uh, standard type blade they have with these. Uh, you never see them make them up, or very rare, I've never seen one make them up. Uh, but again, very, very nice quality with a lot of the cross graining still on there. So, yeah, good, good dagger. Um, other ones we have here is obviously a, a Kriegsmarine dress dagger. There's a couple of very nice Kriegsmarine dress daggers in the sale. Um, nice one, typical with the gold eagle. Um, we've got a lovely one with, with the original straps and the original knot, which is uh, well worth taking a look at. Um, Oh, just going back to the labour service daggers. This is one that most people won't have ever seen before. It's very, very rare. This is a labour service dagger for a, someone who was in the occupied Czechoslovakia. So as you can see, it's almost like a standard RED enlisted bands dagger, but with the bone style white uh, grips and the enamel shield to the centre. Uh, very, very rare dagger, this. Um, blade is exactly the same as a normal RED enlisted bands. Uh, this one by Alcoso Solingen. Um, and again, only for the occupied territories of Czechoslovakia this type. So again, very, very rare to find. First one we've ever had offered for sale. Uh, and then the last one I'm just going to quickly show you is um, 
A dagger that has become more and more popular over the years, and this is the Hit the Youth Boys Dagger. Um, really quite a good example, original enamel diamond inside, as you can see some movement in the diamond, which they always say is a good sign of it's always been there. Uh, when they're fixed, it can be people, some, some say they've been replaced. Again, a good early copper based enamel diamond there, which with moves. Uh, blade is okay, it's not the best, but um, yeah, it's, it's a generally a good um, untouched example of a Hitler Youth Boys dress dagger. Uh, something that are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, used to be one of the more, most common German dress daggers, and a lot of people started with, uh, but now they're getting a lot more desirable and, and a lot harder to find. Very hard to find them in really, really clean, crisp condition. But anyway, that hopefully you see just a small little a grouping of German daggers that we've got coming up in the auction. Um, the auction takes place on the 8th and 9th of February. All these are coming up in the 9th of February in the, in the Third Reich section. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Uh, sorry, it's probably a little bit shorter than we planned, um, but like I say, we've got lots of German dress daggers, lots of German items on the site. So if you're interested in, in Third Reich history and you're interested in purchasing any of these lots, go onto our website, you can find the details on our YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, have a look and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please press the like button and subscribe to see more videos from us. Thank you very much.